Hey guys, RPM here. I hope you're doing well. Having a really great day. All right, I need to get my CPU mining rigs up. But first, in order to do that, I need to set up my area where I want to do that. So I'm going to be utilizing the same 240 volt 30 amp circuit as my low power shelf here because I'm not using the full capacity of this PDU right now. I'm using about I think, 2600 watts, 2500 watts. So I still got about another good 25, 2700 watts to utilize. And I think that's gonna go along perfect with my 16 to 20 different CPU mining rigs, which I wanna have here. Not on the shelf though, I'm just going to, I'm just gonna place a table right here, right behind the shelf where this 3090 rig is, and just have it right here. And I'm just gonna set all the CPU rigs and power supplies on the desk. And then all the networking is gonna go into from this Cisco switch because I was thinking of setting up a CPU mining rig area in another place in my house here, but I think just utilizing the same power and the network switch will save me some, some headache, essentially. I don't need another switch. I don't need to run another circuit. So I'm just, it's best, I'm just gonna have it here. I have the space anyway. And uh, yeah, should be okay here. Now, when the summertime comes, now that will probably be a different story. It might be, uh, it might get pretty hot in here, but I do have a plan of having another exhaust fan out that window, or maybe that window. We'll see, we'll see, down the road, when the summertime comes. It's winter right now, so it's, it's, generally, it's generally cool. It's about 78 Fahrenheit ambient in this general area right now. Okay, I'm gonna go get a table, place it here, and then I'm gonna start placing some of my current CPU mining rigs on that table and uh, also probably get them on stands if I have enough. Just get it all situated. So we'll see how that goes. I also have one set up here utilizing the new PSU, the Pico PSUs I just got in. Don't know if they're gonna be good or not long term. We're gonna find that out after I set up the rest of these rigs. Then I can tell you guys if they're good or not. So let me go get a table in the barn. Let's head on over there. My fish. Anyone remember my fish? Balls, it is freezing up here. Oh man, I missed the barn. Okay, I just came for a table and so I got a couple up here. Most likely going to use that white one over there under all that crap. Okay, I'm gonna take that one. Not gonna show you guys taking all this stuff out. I'll see you back at the other basement. Okay, I need to bring this CPU rig with me because I'm gonna convert this Parallel Miner ZSX Amp Board power supply setup to a the, those Pico PSUs. So, just gonna turn this off and no longer going to use this setup. Okay, gonna bring this along with me. See you guys at the other basement. Okay. Got the table in, bit of room to spare, not too bad. You guys are probably laughing right now. Red Panda, what are you doing? And yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing, but I got the table here, okay? Already placed two rigs, two CPU rigs on here. Granted, I didn't put the Pico power supply yet on this. This is a 3700X AMD. Got a 3900X here. Okay, and I'm gonna get two more rigs that are down there and also put Pico PSUs on those because I got a SF450 watt ATX PSU on one. Uh, this is a Ryzen 1700X and then I have a 5950X on another Parallel Miner ZSX M board. So I'm going to try the Pico PSUs on these two on one power supply on this Dell 1400 watt 
PSU, okay, and then utilizing an X11 breakout board with four of the Picos. So we'll see how that goes. Let me get those all up here, all connected. Let's try it. Okay, 5950X, I need to place on one of these chump change motherboard stands or one of the Cloud Ico motherboard stands. Thank you again, cloudico.io for the motherboard stands. Really awesome. I'm gonna add the Pico PSU to this one first. Okay, so this eight pin goes into here. And I recently found out there are some people that use Pico PSUs as well as the, uh, there's a PCIe to CPU eight pin cable. Now, I have never heard of that, and apparently I have been showed that a while back, I just don't remember. So that might be something I may need to try out in the future. Okay, so there's, I don't know, this one's going to go here. Okay, Pico for this, and then this goes into the motherboard like this. See, I'm going to, I think I'm going to run out of space. Okay, so that's all right. Okay. All right, that one's in. 3700X is in. Pico PSU, six pin for power. Okay, all right, let's see how that goes. Okay, now, 1700X, let's do the same thing. Okay, this is, I'm gonna be pretty limited here because the Pico power supplies are, the cables are not that long. So, I don't know if this, I don't know if this table method is going to work out for me or not. I'm going to try to space everything in a way which, uh, you know, I can, uh, it's not going to look glamorous at all. But let me put on this one. <laughs> okay, so depending on how I mount these motherboards to these 3D printed stands, the I.O., whichever direction it goes, the 8-pin CPU power in the ATX, I am limited here by the length of the cable, which is quite short. Um, I mean, I think it's good that it's short because any longer, you know, causes resistance, you know, longer it is. Uh, I'm not an expert in this, but I'm assuming so. And this is 16 gauge wire, so a lot of power going through these, right? All right, so anyways, yeah, it's not looking great so far, but that's okay. Rectify that later. Okay, now I'm going to mount this 5950X to Chum Change 3D printed stand. Let's see here. Okay, it's on the Clyde Ico motherboard stand. Okay, so a bit of an issue. Well, yeah, we already explained it. The cabling for my Pico PSU here, 300 watt Pico PSU, is really not long at all. Again, might be okay, uh, but aesthetics wise, this doesn't look as cool. But let's go ahead and power this on. One 1400 watt Dell PSU Parallel Miner X11 breakout board with four Pico PSUs, 300 watts apparently, uh, each Pico PSU capacity and as well as 16 gauge wiring according to each of the wires. So right now, the bank that I'm using on this side is using about 293 watts. Okay, so we're gonna take the delta from that as we turn this on, and then we'll see how much power a 5950X, this is a 3900X, and then we got 3700X, and then we got another uh, 3900, sorry, 1700X, and then a 3900X. So I just got various CPUs here. Only the CPU money wigs I have on currently. Gonna get some other ones on in another video, but let's go ahead and turn this on. Let's see, hopefully nothing melts. Here we go, three, Two, one. Fifty nine fifty X turned on. Thirty nine hundred X turned on. Thirty seven hundred X turned on. I don't think the seventeen hundred X turned on. No, it did not turn on. There would be lights on the RAM. Okay, I believe this one doesn't have AC power on, but all the other ones do. Let me get a screwdriver and let's see if I can wake this thing up just by jumping the, uh, the power, which is right here. Nope, that's, that's not working. I'm hitting the two jumpers. You know what? 
I remember something, that this thing would not work on the Parallel Miner ZSX Amp Edition board, this Ryzen 1700X, and it worked on a regular ATX power supply. I remember we did a live stream. I have a feeling that this is not supported in some fashion, some, I don't know, voltage issue. You know what? I'm going to... Let's just see how much power these three are taking right now. I think they're mining. 749 watts, okay? So we were at 293, so that's a good, we've added like a good what? 550 watts around there, 560 watts around there for these three rigs, 3900, 5950X. Yeah, that's pretty good. Let's chuck Hive OS. Okay, and yeah, the three rigs are up except the 1700X would not turn on. I am gonna take that out and I'm just gonna make sure that works on an ATX PSU, but the other rigs, the 3700X, that seems to be mining, the 5950X at 16, almost 17 kilo hash, and then my 3900X at 12.96. I think we can do better. Maybe we have to add more RAM or do four ch dual channel or four channel, whatever, and uh, test that out, but, so yeah, these three, are working with the Pico PSUs, but not this 1700X. Okay, so let me just, uh, let me shut all these down. And then I want to uh, take out the 1700 and just make sure it works and that I didn't brick the whole machine or the, I don't know. I don't, yeah, I just wanna make sure that this 1700X still works on an ATX PSU. Okay, so that turned off. 37, 3900X turned off. Okay, I'm gonna turn this power supply. Okay, that's off. Okay, I'm gonna take this and try it with an ATX PSU. Okay, I got the 450 watt SF450, the Corsair PSU ATX, and or it's actually SFX, but same idea. Okay, I'm gonna try this. Hopefully I didn't break the uh, 1700 by shorting it with the Pico PSU. I don't think so. Okay, um, so now I'm going to... Okay, so we got lights on on the motherboard. That's a good sign. Now, oh yeah, I don't have the AC power loss on. So I'm going to jump the uh, jumper here. And it turns on. Yeah, it turns on. So... Why is that? What motherboard is this? This is an Asus B450. All right, chipset. B450 chipset with a Ryzen 1700. Why doesn't a ZSX power supply work or one of these work? It's very strange. It's very strange that only the ATX will work. So maybe, maybe that's something. And uh, well, the Pico seems to work on the 3900X and 5950X. Anyways, uh, let me add the network here. I totally forgot about that. And let's see if it shows up in Hive OS. Is it mining as well? Okay, yeah, 85, 80, 86, almost 87 watts. Probably mining Zeph right now. Let's check the web GUI. Okay, let me refresh here. Control F5. Okay. Yes, yeah, it showed up 16 seconds ago. Okay, and uh, let's just see here. Yeah, five kilohash. Okay, I'm going to refresh that. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, it mines. So weird, why doesn't this work with Picos? If anyone has any idea why, let me know, let me know. But we got three to work. <laughs> three on one power supply, utilizing these uh, Pico. 300 watt, 16 gauge power supplies. So whether or not this is gonna last a long time or not, time will tell. I am going to test this out much more. I plan on doing videos and live streams of you know all the other mining rig motherboard setups that I have, right? So I got all 5950Xs here, there's six of them. Okay, and then I have a Ryzen 5 5500. I don't think I'm gonna CPU mine with that. I got an i9 10850K here. Uh, Ryzen 2600X there, Ryzen 9 5900X, ooh, that's a nice one. And then we got uh, 3900Xs, I got four of them, uh, four of them here, I believe, yeah. 
So yeah, I hope that this will work on the other motherboard setups here, but uh, yeah, I also have to install the coolers on all these. So that's going to be fun. Um, I mean, if anyone's got to the end of this video, let me know if you guys want to see live streams. I mean, you guys have seen my live streams already of building CP rigs, or I may do this offline, just get them all up and uh, go to town, start, you know, CPU mining, getting into spec mining coins, or doing it for profit, or yeah, I'm not quite sure. I think I said I was gonna do it for profit, so we'll see how that goes. Anyways, I am on my way there to getting my CPU mining farm up. This is a good first step. I'm already just daunting the fact that I don't think I will be able to get Fit or Fit 15 on here. I will probably have to go and make a platform on the top row of this shelf and uh, put some of these CPU rig builds on there. Yeah, that that will probably have to be done. But let me just see here. We are at, yeah, 756 watts. Okay, 756, 757 watts. So yeah, we were using 294 before. So yeah, we're using another 500 and 550 watts for these three rigs, okay? So I think if I add one more, that should be about the 50% load on a HP uh, or Dell Platinum power supply. That should be the efficient way to run that. Okay, guys, I think that's it. This video is long enough. Let me know what you guys think. I'm gonna slowly start expanding more of my CPU mining rigs. I know it looks like a spaghetti mess right now. This is my low power shelf with a bunch of bunch of stuff on it, bunch of stuff. But huh, let me know what you guys think. If this is okay to have uh, a table here, have for CPU mining, easy for me to access. I live here, so if I have any issues, I can just come down and you know reset something or troubleshoot it. Maybe I have to add another table in case I have more, if, yeah, in case those rigs don't fit. I don't know. All right, my friends, that's it. I'm coming after your CPU mining profits. I'll see you all in the next video. Have a good one. Peace out. Man, I'm so confused. Why? Why? This would not work on here.